Now the word fa amma. First word is fa amma. And the, there are two words after that. I'm going to take all of them here. Allah zina aman. Allah zina aman. Okay. And there are few other words. I'm going to translate all, both of them together. Wa amma lazina kafaru. Okay, so we can have a better understanding. Wa amma. Then it is Allah zina kafaru. So there are two words in the Quran, three words. Wa amma ladina amanu, and right after that, wa amma ladina kafaru. So we can compare the translation here. Okay. Now, in first word here, first actually letter fa means so. Okay. So this means so. This wa means and. Okay. So that's the first difference. Fa means so, and wa means and. The next word amma. Amma in English is as for. Okay. Those who know Urdu, the translation is ye ke. For understanding those people who know Urdu, or ye ke. Okay, the same thing is here. Is amma means as for, and the same meaning ye. Okay. Okay. And just for the writing, so means pas. Urdu here. Means or, and in Urdu it is or. As for, so as for, and and as for, in Urdu will be or ye ke pas ye ke. Okay. Allah zina means those. Amanu, those who believed. Kafaru, those who disbelieved. Okay. Who believed? Who disbelieved? So Allah says that He mentioned an example of the mosquito. He has mentioned the example of a mosquito. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that there are two kinds of people. <clears throat> what will be their reaction? One kind of people is are those who believed. They will hear the example and they will say something. Then there is another group of people who disbelieved. They will say something else. Okay, so that's the reason these similar words are used here. So for those who believed, will say something, and those who disbelieved, they will say something. Okay, so amma means as for those who believed, as for those who disbelieved. In Urdu, it will be pas ye ke those who believe, jo iman lai. Pas ye ke jo iman nahi lai. Hmm? So, it's a comparison of two similar statements. Jinnoni, jinnoni, in 
two kinds of people are going to say something okay first kind of people who are alladina aman okay they are there are few words about them okay the words are fayalamuna annahul haqqu mir rabbihim this is about the people who believed okay so let's translate those words So the first part of this is fa. Fa means so. Okay. The second word is ya alamuna. Ya alamuna is from these root letters an, lam, and mim. This means to know, ilm or knowledge. A, an, lam, and mim. from our grammar we know that the word yafaluna yafaluna this means they do yafaluna means they do so the word here ya and muna okay ya means third person and present tense and present tense and we have seen this many times and this is for plural when we take the three words three letters root letters and put a ya in the beginning and huna at the end yaf aluna means they do ya brings the meaning of present tense and third person and huna brings the meaning of plural okay the word in the quran here is ya alamuna which is the made of these three letters Okay, ya in the beginning and runa at the end. So the meaning of ya alamuna means they know. Faya alamuna, so they know. Okay. 
तो देनो Faya alamuna, so they know. These people know. The people who have believed, they know. Okay. What is that they know? Anna means that. Anna means that. Okay. And who means it? Who is a pronoun? It means him or it. Okay. Who actually means him or he? But in English, it will be it. They know that it. What is it pointing to? The example of mosquito. <clears throat> it is pointing to the masalam ma baudatam, the example of the mosquito. So this is. Al Hakku. Okay. So next word is Ha, Kaf, and Kaf. Okay. This means to speak truth or to say truth. Ha, Kaf, Kaf means to speak truth. The noun from this is hakkun. Hakkun means truth. Hakkun means truth. Okay. And if we put an al before that, al means da. It will become al hakku because when we put al, one dhamma goes away from the two, and the meaning becomes the truth. Okay. So the meaning is the truth. And I'm just going to put to help understand a little word in parentheses is. Okay. So meaning will be so they know that it is the truth. This example Allah is mentioning is the truth. Okay. Min means from. Okay. Min means let's, let's write this down because these are three words combined will affect each other. So the, the initial letters are ra, ba, and ba. Okay. Ra, ba, and ba. Okay, the noun is Rabbuna. Rabbun means Lord. Okay, Homo. means there. So we have two words. Rabbun means Lord and Hum means them or there. Okay? Question. Rab also means the head of the household. Yes. Yes. Rab also means the head of the household. The husband. Okay. The one who sustains. The actual meaning is one who sustains or provides. Okay. So Rabbun and Hum. 
Now the rule is that we have a word Rabbun and we have another word Om. Okay? These are two separate words. One means Lord and one means there. When we combine these two words together, the meaning will be their Lord. Okay? What is the rule of combining? Rule is that you just remove the one Dhamma from the first one and it will become Rabbu Hum. Rabbu Hum. Independently it is Rabbu and it is whom. These are separate words. One is noun, Rabbun. Whom is a pronoun. Okay. When you combine and want to make a relationship between the two words like this, Rabbu whom, their Lord. Then the rule is that from the first word, you take out one Dhamma. So it will become Rabbu whom, their Lord. No, no, her figure yet. Not yet. Okay. But right now it is Rabbo Hum. Okay. So now we have two other words now. We have Min. Min means from. And then we have other word Rabbo Hum. So min means from and Rabbohum means their Lord. Okay? Now when we combine these together, min is a harfajar. Harfajar will change this dhumma, the last letter. Last letter is Rabbu, dhumma into a kasra. <coughs> so this will become Rabbi. Rabbi. This word will become. Rabbi. Okay. And also, when you pronounce these together, min and ra after that, then noon is not pronounced. Your ra is pronounced twice. So it will be mir rabbi. Mir or, or yeah. Mir rabbi him. So, then you have to put a Shadda on the Ra. Again, it's Ra without Ola. Yes. Yeah. So, Mir, Rabbi. Now, one more change will take place. The word is Rabbi and Hum. Right? When we speak or the Tajweed is done, then whom is also pronounced as him. It is only tajweed, no rule of grammar or harfajar or anything. It just, because it comes out easy on the tongue. If you are saying rabbi, him. Instead of saying rabbi, whom, it comes out rabbi, him. It's smooth, okay? So for the rule of tajweed, we just change this Dhamma into a Kasra. So it becomes Mir Rabbihim. Mir Rabbihim is from their Lord. So these people who believed, they knew that this example is truth from their Lord. It is the truth from their Lord. from their Lord. Okay. So those who believed they, they will know or they know 
that this is a truth, this is the truth, this example is the truth from their Lord, Mir Rabbihim. Okay? But on the other hand, Wa Amma Ladina Kafaru, and as for the people who do not believe, they will say something else. Okay? They will say, Mada Aradallah. Bihada Masala. So let's look at this part of the ayah. Isme Faya Puruna Rege Mirabim Faya Puruna Mirabim Kafaru Faya Puruna. In the ayat is Faya Puruna. So here. The word is Fayakuna. Okay, so it's after that. Okay. Okay. So here it's after that. 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 Okay. And we have seen this word few times. This word is from Fami So and Ka Va and Nam means to say. And the same rule Yakuluna, a Ya in the beginning, and Guna at the end. Means they say, or they will say, both meanings can be applied here, they will say. Fayakuluna, so they will say, or they say. Okay? What will they say? Mada Aradallah. Mada means what? Mada means what? Okay. Mada means what? Or what is? Okay. Arada. Arada means to intend. To have some intention. Okay. Arada, irada we say in Spurtin in Urdu. Virada tun, irada means intention. Arada, he intended. Arada Allah, Allah intended. Which, what is Allah's intention? Arada Allah, Arada Allah. Allah intended. Miss, what what is the intention of Allah? What does He want? Okay, Arad Allah, Allah intended. So those who don't believe, those who did kufr, ladina kafaru, fayakuluna, they will say, when they hear this example of mosquito, they will say, what is the intention of Allah? What does He want by telling little examples? Okay? The word is, bihada masala. So that is made of, bi Ada and Masala or Masala Bihada. B means by and Hada means this. 
example. As for those who did kufr, who rejected Fayakuluna, they will say, Mada, what is Arad Allah, Allah's intention, or what did Allah intend? Bihada Masala, by this example. So what they will say, what did Allah gain by giving this little example of a mosquito? What was the purpose of this? And what did he gain? So they will totally look at the other side than the believers are. Believers are, if you notice that, in the ayah of Amma Ladina Amanu, those who believe, they are not saying anything. Faya Alamuna, they know. They know that this is the truth, but they are not saying anything. But those who don't believe, they are speaking up. Okay. They are raising an objection that what does Allah want by, by giving these little examples. Okay. So that is the difference in those who believed and those who did not believe. The believers just keep quiet after listen the, listening to the example of a mosquito or anything smaller than that. But in their heart they say that this is true. What Allah is saying, this is the truth. On the other hand, those who oppose and reject, they are speaking up. Yaquluna. In the first one is Yalamuna. Yalamuna means they only know and keep quiet. But Yaquluna, they speak up. Those who don't believe, they speak up and say something, uh, criticizing again the ayat of the Quran or the intention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we'll inshallah stop here because the other class will start in a couple of minutes. And uh, so we'll continue this aisle next time. Yeah, okay. we're done. Hmm? Yeah, we're done. Still running?